So now I'll basically walk you through the software part. We will see some tips and tricks and also some gestures which will improve or enhance your user experience. Now, the important thing is this tablet runs on Windows 8.1 and it is upgradable to Windows 10, which is a very good thing. And I will let you know what are the improvements in Windows 10 once I've created and probably it might be in another video, right? So you do have, this is the start menu in Windows 8.1 and where you get some live feeds in tiles. So for example, this is the weather application. This is the money application. As you can see, there is updated information over here. This is the news application, right? So these are not only the applications available on this tablet. For the entire list, you will have to swipe from bottom to top and you can access the entire list of applications, which is a very good thing. Now, um, I'll let you know some of the see this tablet does not have a capacitive home button or a windows button or even a back button so uh, it's very tough coming from android and using a windows tablet so some gestures like uh, swipe from left to right uh, you can use this uh, recently used applications as you can see swipe it again and you can go to another applications which you have used previous to that application so you if you have to swipe from left to right then you can access the previously used applications now to switch between applications, what you have to do is swipe from left to right and again drag it down, uh, drag it back and you can get this uh, list of applications over here where you can switch between which application you need. So which is also a very good thing. So this will take a little bit of practice. As you can see, you have to swipe in back, swipe in and then swipe it back again. Swipe from left to right swipe from left to right and again swipe it back again as you can see now the good thing is this tablet also has multi window functionality or dual window functionality i'll show you what is that now uh, if you want to run two applications side by side then you can choose which application you want to run uh, select it and again drop it so as you can see now the screen is being split into half uh, drop it into this column and you can use two applications side by side which will definitely enhance your experience now, uh, so if you want to close, just go, close it. Uh, I mean to say, just uh, drag it from uh, right to left or whichever window you want to close. Now, if I want to close this application, I'll have to swipe from top to bottom and drag it to the bottom. As you can see, it's closed. But the thing is, it's not completely closed. So it will be uh, available in the RAM. For that, what you have to do is again, go to start menu, go to all applications and go to, um, what do you say, task manager. And here, you can click on individual applications which you want to close and then end the task. Now it will be free from the RAM memory. Now you can also access this through the taskbar. So you have to press and hold here. Uh, it means the right click and then you will have to opt for task manager and then close the application which you want to. That's it, as you can see. So this will be uh, definitely uh, beneficial. So now I'll let you know another thing here. Let's go to this uh, uh, start menu again. Now swiping from right to left, you can access this charms bar uh, or the charms uh, application menu where you can search uh, whatever you want in this tablet or in the web. You can share with other devices. You can quickly access this uh, uh, start menu and uh, you can also use this devices where you can, uh, uh, it's used to print or project uh, to other uh, to another devices. And you have a bunch of settings over here. So what you can do is you can also control keyboard settings, uh, the brightness settings, or the volume settings, or the Wi-Fi settings from here itself. So in whatever screen you are, you can swipe from right and access these settings, So which is a very good thing. Now, as far as the verdict goes, this is the best value for money tablet. It has amazing display, good build quality, it is upgradable to Windows 10. It has Office 365 one year free subscription and we can also access applications from Windows Store and it's really good at multitasking abilities. So definitely you will enjoy consuming media on this tablet and over that it can also act as a mini PC. So that's it guys. If you have enjoyed this video or if this video has helped you, hit that like button and also share this video with your friends and family. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and most importantly, Thanks for watching.